Right. So we left off with Neverly being like, uh, just so you know, don't do anything against the magic because uh, it might hurt a little bit. And the kid's like, okay, okay, I got it. It's going to hurt a lot. Um, can you read the bolded word on this page for me? Hi. Um, Benetto, Benetto ga sono, uh, sono gaki, gaki ishi o, uh, Johnny Oshieteru to Mono Gaki Ga Kachi Kachito Aita. Hi, Kagi Kagi. Hi, I forgot. Hi, Kagi Ishi. Hi, Kagi Ishi. What is Oshieteru? Sono gaki. Sono gaki shio. Joni shia teru. To break the lock, Mani. Is that right? Good guess. Um, Oshi ateru is something he uses this to do with that. So you're correct that eventually it does aku, open the lock. That is correct. But Oshi ateru doesn't really have open in there. Um, if you had kanji, it'd be Oshi ateru. Like this from also mm -hmm. to push, right? And um, ateru, which means to put something against something. So oshi ateru means to push against. So Bennett pushes the lock stone against the lock. Bennett pushes the lock stone against the lock. Hi. Right. Can you read this word for me? Um, hitai. Hi. Hitai is your forehead. So let's go read this example sentence. Um, that's interesting. Deshi wa makura o atama ni oshiyatte ta. Hi. Hi. Hitai ni. I forgot to put the furigana over it. What does that mean? Deshi wa. Makura o hitai ni oshiyatteru. Mani, what's hitai ni again? Hi, that is forehead. Forehead. Uh, press the, uh, press the, the, it presses the forehead. The apprentice presses the forehead. Actually, no, he presses the uh, ch makura. Hi, makura means pillow. And he presses the pillow against his forehead. Perfect. Hi, hi. Can you read this bolded word for me? Hashi. Yoku. Yoku hashi. Yami yo. Yami yo. Yep. Yami yo hashi. Perfect. Yes, yami it is hashi, but we have um, renduk here. So yami yo bashi. What does yami yo bashi mean? Yami yo bashi is um, twilight bridge. Good guess. It is darkness night bridge. Yami means darkness. Can you read this word for me? Uh, oh. You cook you. Hi, cook you. Perfect. Breath. Yeah, breathing. Hi, hi, hi. Oops. Um, let's go read this line. Uh, Arewa Mada Arewa Mada Kokyu Sur. Uh, Tsumari Ikiterizo. Right, Moni? Yep. That. Arewa. Arewa Mada. Sorry, what key Q, Q, Q again, Moni? Breathe. Listen, thing. Might be easier for if you said she dated. You could translate it both with or without, but. 
、まあ、easy learning English to 知っている。あれはまだ呼吸している。私はたまだね。呼吸している。つまり。生きているぞ。So let's start with the subject of the sentence. What is the subject?、Uh, the subject here is are wa that.、はい、What is teiru? Teiru is the progressive verb、はい、form. So is ing doing what? Doing k y o k u t s u r Hi. What does that mean in English? Hi. Is that、breathing. is that breathing.、Means. Then we have mada. What does mada mean? That's the adverb that modifies、mm-hmm. the kyoku suru,、Hi. meaning he's still. Hi. That so, is perfect. That is still breathing. You know what tsumari means? Tsumari. Tsumari means in short. In short, hi. In short, it is living. It is alive. It is alive. Hi. That is still breathing. In other words, it's still alive. So I could put a mud in there twice. Can you read this word for me? Still alive.、Uh, Perfect. So we have kokyu and we added shin to it, which is fukai. Deep. What do you think shinkoku means? Shinkoku is.、Uh, what is shinkoku? Shinkoku is deep breath.、Oh, It is deep、breathing. breath. Perfect. To take a deep breath.、Um, what does hitai mean? Hitai is.、Um, hitai is forehead. It is forehead. And what is a makura? Makura is.、Uh, makura, makura, makura is a pillow. Hi. And what does oshiateru mean? Oshiateru is. Press against. Perfect. And how do you say darkness night bridge? Darkness Night Bridge is、uh, Yami Yobashi. Yami Yobashi. Perfect. Yami Yobashi. So let's go read the line from the book. Yosh. Jitto shiteore. Nebari wa shinkyo kyo shi. Yomi. Yami. Yami yo no yo ni kurai maho mado shiki. Mado shiki yo are no itai ni. So shiete ta. Hi. So you read this word right here as kurai. But it's pronounced a little bit different for black.、Uh, it's kuroi. Hi, kuroi. Perfect. Hi. So, yosh, jitto shite ore. So, ore comes from oru, which is just all the iru, right? So, jitto sh. I don't really know what imperative iru is, but just saying jitto shite. Shiro. Imperative form. The... Is the Edo is the Edo version money? It's mean like、mm-hmm. it's, it's the being verb, right? It's the being what、yeah. they're doing, but present form of the verb. Yep. NG. But here he's putting it in the command form. Yes. In the imperative. So he's saying jito straight ahead. Uh, jitto doesn't mean straight ahead, but that's a good guess. Jitto、um, means still, like to freeze. Freeze. Shitteru ore. Stay still. Hi, perfect. Okay, his command is stay still. Then, nebri, shinko kyo. Shi. 
he take a deep breath and then he 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 tie he tie me he pre, he already know he tie against my forehead soto oshiateta he presses against in a zoto way hi that means softly a, softly he softly pressed against my forehead the stone the magical stone the black magical stone that is as dark as the midnight the perfect evening. dark the as evening. a hi um can you read this word for me turn around you turn yep. it upside down it and it can mean that in this meaning it means to go against go oh, against how do you uh, read it i forgot the reading for me hi Tao. it's sa ka Sakarao. Sakarao. Aru from to me. Uh, from what? Aru. Aru. Oh, no, it's not Aru. It's Oru. Hi, Oto suru. Relational form. Oh. Plus to. Relational plus to. Oh, he tried to go against. It could be that, but if you read the whole sentence, you'll see it doesn't actually say that. It says na at the end, which means do not. Do not try to go against the magic. Sakarao to suru na. Hi. Um, can Magic. you read this bolded word? Um, jo. The lock. Mae. Mm, and then to break, which is butari. Yeah. Yaburi. Yeah. Yaburi. To break. What is the drama yaburi? The breaking of the lock. Do you have to break the lock, like with a rock, if you're doing joma yaburi? Joma yaburi. A knife. Knife. Oh. In this context, yes, he is using a knife. He's um he picked the lock. Hi, exactly. Joma yaburi can mean to pick a lock. Hi. Um it could probably also mean to break a lock. It just means the lock is no longer locking. Um can you read this adjective for me? Yawarai. Yawara kadi. Yarawa. Yarakai. Yawarakai. Any idea what it means? Uh It, it, it has the, the, uh, soft. Like soto. Yep, like soto. But soto is very specifically just say like softly putting something down. So softly. No, actually, like yawaraka is more like a nice foie foie kind of thing, like cotton candy. Um, can you read this word for me? Um. um... What was it? Uh, is, this is the press against nosu. Osu. Osu. Hi. Which does mean to press. Hi. What is the te form of yawarakai? Yawarakai? Te form is um, yawara, yawara kai ite. Kai ite. That's a good guess. Um, there's not really any te form where you just add te to the end of the word. You're always going to have to drop something in Japanese, um, except for with nouns. So it is correct if you had, oh, if you had like nickel and you want it in like te form, I guess you could just add de there. But theoretically, that's te form of da, not, um, that. So theoretically, things are all still changing. So yeah, you have to, at the very minimum, drop the E, right? Uh, what do you, is it just drop D or is it add something after the E between the te and the ka? Uh -huh. Yawaraka hmm, te or just yawaraka te? Uh, drop the E. So it's, uh, good that. Hi, kute. Correct. Hi, yawaraka kute. And what did yawarakai mean? 
Yawarakai is softly. Hi, soft. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Um, mm, uh, Noshi. Hi. Oshi. 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 So, Oshi is to press, and Tsubusu is to like crush to like destroy something so oshi tubusu is to crush something flat let's go read the example sentence um yo jimbo wa yawa yawara kai yawara kai makura o oshi tsubushita to press against right money Oshi press but press Oshi hard. Oshi atteru. Hi. Atteru means to touch. So oshi to press plus touch means to press against with atteru meaning against. Here we have oshi push plus tsubusu. What does tsubusu mean? Tsubusu is to punch. No. Kind of. It's a, what happens after you punch something. Tsubusa means to smash, to crush, to flatten, any of those kind of ideas, to break type of idea. So it means you are breaking something through pushing it. You are flattening it through pushing it. So Oshi Tsubusa mm. is like the push, the like, like if you were a giant and you wanted to just step down on the makura and it became, you know, flat like this. That would mean it was Oshi Tsubustad. Oshi Tsubustad. It's to be squashed. Squash. Push on it squash. and it flattens. Hi. Squash the pillion. Hi. Can you read this for me? Mado to you, Mado. Hi. What does that mean? All the windows. Perfect. It's exactly what it means. How do you say mansion? Shikiya. Oku, oku, um. Your first guess is closer. Yashiki. Hi, Yashiki. Correct. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Atatakai. Perfect. What is? Ah, tatakai. Yes, warm. The adjective. What is the te form of atatakai? Atatakai taku kute. Hi. Can you read this bolded word right here? Uh, kieta. Hi. What does that mean? Disappear. Perfect. What did Oshi Tabusa mean? Press squash. Hi, hi. Yep. To crush. To press and squash. How do you change it from to press and quash into passive form, which is to be crushed? Oshi tsubu. Saseru? Hi, Saseru. Perfect. What is this bolded word right here? Um, Jomai. It does have bu in it, but it's actually ya. Yaburi. Yaburi. What is jo ya, Jomai Yaburi? Pick lock. Hi, hi, hi. And how do you say wires in Japanese? Uh, hari. Hari kane. Hi, hari kane. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Yabure. Yep, yabure. yabure. Yep, perfect. So that is to break something. Um, what is the past tense form of yabureru, which is a reverb? Mm. Yabure. Yaburare. Ru. Yaburare. Ru. Yabure rare. Ru. Yabure. No. Ru. I know it's hard to Yabu. say. Passive, right, Moni? I just wanted past tense. Past tense. Uh, yabureta. Hi, yabureta. You are correct that there is a verb called yaburu. Which has the exact same kanji, which passive form would be daderu, I am sure. 
Um, Yabu Deru is officially a word in the dictionary, and I'm assuming it's the one that they had here, which is that to break word. It does have a little bit more about to be defeated kind of connotation with it, um, but it's that same kind of uh, idea. Yabu Deru. Um, let's go read this example sentence. Yabureta makura wa Yawarakanakunata. Yawara kanaku. It was not not softly. Hi, it was not soft. You are correct that we do have a ku here, which theoretically does make that into an adverb, but that is not translated as an adverb in English. The reason for this is that nai in Japanese is very obviously an adjective. What not is in English, I do not know, I, but it's not an adjective. Um, but it is an adjective in Japanese. So because of that, when you want to add notness, the adjective, with some other quality, you are going to have to turn it into a adverb in some type of way. So this is yawara ka, um, and I do have an extra na on here. Yawara ka, yawara kaku, naru. Um, so, so what, oh wait, never mind, I was right. This is, um, never mind, it's, uh, Nine. sorry, um, so, Form. Is uh, the connective form of night? Yawara kaku naku nata. What this is supposed to be? Big, a lot of uh, stuff going on here. Um, so, yawara kaku, yawara kaku naku nata from naru. The blanket became something. The blanket not uh, be pillow. Became not soft. The pillow became not soft. Exactly. The what squash, other information do we have about that pillow? The squash pillow. Hi. The, the well, not squash, um, but the, the the broken pillow. Perfect. Hi. Hi. Um, komakaku means um, eardrums. Uh, so let's go read this line from the book. Komaku or komakaku, mommy? Komakaku. Komakaku. Hi. Komakaku ga ima. Hi. Mado. Madoshiki wa yawara saki se seki madoshiki wa yawara kakute kakute um atata kakata kakata ああ、部分。いや、奥。部分。いや、の。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部分。部
Atata kakata. It's warm. Soft right. and warm. And what pat what tense is this in? Was. Okay. The magic stone was, was soft and warm. Heya no nakakara. Nakakara is modifying oto. I guess. And we say that nakakara was oh from the middle of the Hi. room. Um, so how is um, Naka different in the word Chuo? Ah, uh, from within the room. Hi, Naka means within. Hi. From within the room, all the sound disappeared. Hi. Ototo oto ga kie. And mi enai nani ka ni karada ga. The body that was not seen anywhere. Good guess. That's not what it says. Mm, not gotta look at particles, right? We got a knee yeah, yeah. here, which means this is modifying a verb or an adverb, right? Which we also have another knee over here. So it's probably describing that. Um, you might start with nadu. What does that mean? Become. Hi. Or so what became. is becoming? The body is becoming something. Oshi tsubere tsubere Oshi tsubere soni. So only describing the physical uh, resemblance. Yeah. No, 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 no. Is this this is a metaphorical resemblance? Yes. Uh, it's 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 um. The word seems Not mitai, like, I'm... yeah, um, you could use mitaini here and, um, but that would make it more metaphorical than the soul. Um, the difference is that this in English would be more like feels, while mitai would be more focusing on that physical appearance. It's kind of like if you look at a book and say it's omoshiroi soul, right? It's not saying the book physically looks at the words omoshiroi, right? It doesn't physically look like the word interesting, right? Instead, you're talking about what interesting means as a deeper meaning, right? It's the meaning behind interesting. It means the book's going to have kings and knights and all those kind of things on it. That's what I feel like when I look at that book. So soul is it looks like, but it's talking about more of that metaphorical meaning behind the word, not the literal shape of the word. Mitai is talking about the literal shape of the word or the objects or things like that, right? Inu mitai means it physically looks like a dog. Inu so means like the vibes of it give off very doggy vibes. Like I'm like it's it's very similar. It's kind of like in between mitai and yo, depending on contexts. But basically, so is making your kind of making the, the assumption that it is a dog. <laughs> is is what you're kind of doing there. Oh, um, here, but you haven't committed to it. It looks to, it. to become. Hi. It looks to become like it's squash. Yes. The body seems to be squash. Hi. Becoming squash. What is squashing the body? Um, something that is not seen anywhere. Perfect. Hi. That's exactly what I'm saying. It like seems an like invisible. my body is about to become squashed. Right, because it's a uh, future tense. So the first knee money describing the um, the actor. Yes. The culprit. I mean the right. whoever doing the action. Yes, specifically of the Oshi Tsuberu, which is definitely confusing. Oshi Tsuberu Sare. Hi. Hi, and then here is a Mako. I mean, koma, 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 kaku. koma, kaku. koma, kaku. koma, kaku ga koma, 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 I did say kaku an accident earlier. koma, 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 
it yabure soda. It feels as if it's it feels as if my eardrum broke. Hi, so that is the exact same solo right here. Feels like tends to work better with verbs, because we're referring to that vibe. Do you know what a uzumaku is? A a whirlpool. It is a whirlpool. Can you read this bolded word for me? Uh this is to shout out. It's not. Sasaki? No, uh, Sabeki. Saberu. I don't know what word. It sounds familiar, whatever you're saying. This is to echo. Do you know what echo is? Uh, <laughs> sakebi. No. Oh, sakebi. That is to yell. Sakebi. Sakebi. Right there. Um, totally different kanji. Uh, that's what you're. Yeah, that, that is to yell. Sakebi. It has kuchi and then that thing right there. For sakebu. But this is to echo. Nothing that, but I mean, if you sakebu, the sakebu noise would probably echo, but uh, in itself does not mean to yell. You know what to yell is? I forgot, Moni. It's hibiku. Hibiku. So like hibiku. a snake thing. Yep, like a heavy. Heavy is a snake, so it's hibiku. Hibiku. Let's go read this word. Uh, this is to to like to not to yell, but like to make a noise, like an animal. Yes. Hi, here the toritachi are making the sound. You are correct. I also forgot this. This is naki. Hi, it is. You remembered it. Naki kawashita. Oh, yeah. What does no, that mean? Naki kawashita is well. Naki is to make a sound. Kawashi da to make a sound one more time. Good guess. Kawasu kind of means like to dodge. <laughs> um, and naki kawasu basically means to exchange noises to, with each other. So in other words, the birds are tweeting at each other. Oh, it's it back says. and forth. Hi, 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 back and forth. Kawashi. And how do you read the bolded word on this page? Hibiki. Hi, hibiki, perfect. So let's go read the example sentence. Natta oto ga hibiki da. Hibii. Wait, what is this money? No key? Oto? Oto ga hibii da? Hibiki. Hibita. Hi. Hibita. Hibita. Natta oto ga hibita. Hibita. What does that mean? Uh, the, the, the shouted sound echoes. Hi, oh, the, the, the animal the sound echoed. Hi. Can you read this word for me? Uh, tori. That looks like tori, but it's not. The animal sound, right? Nari, Hi. Nari wataru. Hi. To, Nari wataru. To tweet back and forth, to twerp. twerp, twerp good twerp, guess. Twerp, good twerping. guess. No. That is a super good guess. Watasu means to ferry across, but it doesn't really have a back and forth ferrying. So this is a one way motion. So because if you ferry your, your animal sound all the way across somewhere, that also means that it echoed. But specifically, this is more like to resound. Or f you could hear it far and wide if you're saying something like that. But it's basically another way to say the sound echoed. Nari wataru. The sound was made and it went fua. Can you read this bolded word for me? Bless you, mom. Something maki. You're right. Mak, mak. Do you know what's Naruto's last name? Uh, no. Uzumaki. Hi, Uzumaki. Because Naruto's last name is Whirlpool. Uzumaki Moyo, Whirlpool Pattern. Um, can you read this word for me? Zugaiko. Hi. Tsu. Zugaiko tsu. So, Zu 
has the kanji for atama and kotsu is bone. Any idea what a jugai kotsu is? So it's a bone relating mm. to the head. Hi, hi, hi. But it also has this gai. Yeah, but that doesn't really matter. It's a futa for lid. Yeah. At the well, it's like head, the front of your head, right? The the it it is your skull, your cranium. Your cranium, right? Cranium is the lid bone of your head. <laughs> like a headbutt. If you're gonna smash someone with your head, you yes, use you probably should your use your hitai or your zugai kotsu. Um, zugai do, do, do. how do you read this word? Um. Oh man, it's uh, something to do with water. Yeah, it, it's whirlpool again. So it's it is um, whirlpool again. Uzumaki. So it's, it's uzu of uzumaki because uzu maite. We separate into two words rather than one word. Let's go read the line from the book. Uzu o maite. Uzu o maite. Nebari no koe ga ibiki. Neburi voice resounded. Hi. Echo. Uh, sono koe ga uzu o maite. Uh, mimi ni tobi komi. <laughs> it flies into my ears. Exactly. The sound twi twisted like it, it squirrel into my ears. Hi. <laughs> it spiral into my ears. Hi, 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 hi. Zugai uh, kotsu no naka de from within my cranium. Gan gan nari watata. It reverberated. It's, it's like spreading out. <laughs> it's traveling across in a gan gan way. Mm -hmm. Where is it spreading? Where is that resounding? It resounds within the cranium. It's perfect. within the skull. Hi, hi. Perfect, perfect. What does yabureru mean? Yabureru is to be broken. Hi, hi, hi. How about oshitsuburu? Oshitsubutsu, sorry. Oshitsubutsu is to um, like squash something. Perfect. Can you read the bolded phrase for me here? Uh, this is like a spell. Hi. Jumong. Hi. Jumong o uh, dai koe de tonaeta. I think it's o goe. Yes. O goe. O goe de. With a loud voice, he uh, sang, or he not sang, he chanted. Yeah. Yep. Tonaeta, chanting is a great way to describe it. All it means is that you're saying words not from like your heart, like you're not saying normal words. You're saying something that's like you're reading off or you've memorized type of thing. So to chant is perfect because a magical spell has a set word that you're supposed to say. Um, here read the bolded phrase here. Um, this is like to light up. Hi. Uh, some I don't forgot money. Kiwa kihajimeta is began to illuminate. Yeah. Uh, um, I had it and then I forgot it. It's like it's not had it's very close to hajiki from hajiku, but it's not that ha it lit up. It started to lit up. Yeah, it does mean that. You're hundred percent right. But you've made me forgot how to pronounce it too. No way. What is uh, it? It is kaga. Kagayaku. <laughs> Once I read it, it sounded familiar. And that doesn't relate to anything. Because like hikari is like. We have like hikari kanji and then like carry or something. Kuruma. But yeah, mm -hmm. read, reading is kind of wrong. Ka. In, like army. Yeah. Yep. So you get all your army members around and you're going to light them up. 
watching me as I start to Kaka, sparkle. Kaka I mean, they got yaku. a lot of little shiny stars on them. Yeah. Kagayaku. Sorry. Kagayaku. Funnily enough, I didn't expect you to remember it anyway over here. Let's go yeah. read this line from the book. Jumon o tonae wa tonae hajimetara madoseki ga kakayaki dashita. When he chanted the spell, the magical stone light up. Perfect. Lit up. Can you read this bolder phrase for me? He o. Kao? No, you're right, he. He o. Uh, this one. Okay, this one I don't know, Mani. This is fuku. He o fuku. Something that would he o fuku. Would be a kyo, would be a ryu, not a kyo ryu, just a ryu. Breathe fire? It does mean to breathe fire, but fuku is not like to breathe, it is to spit out, to to emit. But it, it has the idea of, in English we say breathe. So if you say it spits out fire, it does have a Expel different vibe fire. in English. Expels, exactly. Do you want to read this bolded word? Jo ryu. Hi, like jo ryu. Upstream. Yes, perfect. Can you read this word for me? Uh, Top of the head. That is what you would think it would mean, but I believe it means overhead. I'll double check that. Oops. Yep, it is overhead. Um, do you know what kagage, ka, ka, kageru means? Kakageru. It's like to light up? You would think it would be from kagayaku, but kagageru has no relationship at all to that word. It basically means to like hold up high. <laughs> so it Ooh. says, Neburi ga maudoseki wo motsute wo tutaku kagageta means that Neburi lifts up his hand super super high the hand he's holding up high is the one that's holding the magical stone so it's just uh Neburi ga madoseki o mo motsu motsu te o kakku kakageta hai held up high up high the hand that was holding so he's lift up on high the hand that was holding the magical stone. Yes, perfect. This word right here ended with Joel. Do you know what it started with? Zu. zu what does Joel. Zu Joel mean? Uh, zu is the atama, is the head. Joel right. is on top. So it's over the head. Perfect. Let's go read this example sentence. Higure no kimi. Higure no kimi wa zujo no mae ni seki o kakageta. Twilight Lord, lift up the stone towards the front of his, in front of his, top of his head. Hi, that's exactly what it says. Hi. Whose head, not mentioned in the sentence, could be the Lord of Twilight's head. So he could lift the stone up over his head, but he's like in front of his head, not like on top of his head, right? He's not like this, like having an apple on his head. He's like uh, having it a little bit separate from you, like, a, like, like this type of idea. The position right there, like one one position in front, right? And then it's also a little bit above the head. So gives you a little bit of that space. It's not, um, <laughs> this would just be zujo, right? Zuzhou. Or up there would be zujo, zujo. But this, <laughs> this, this area is what we're referring to. Hi. Um, what is um, fukidasu mean? Fukidasu, fukidasu, fukidasu? Oh, right. Fukidasu is due to expel out 
It is to expel out. Perfect. So here we have a magical stone that is expelling out a bunch of fireworks from a light arrow that was destroyed. Do you know how to read the bolder word on this page? Iki. Hi, Iki. What does Iki mean? One kaidan o Iki ni. One. <laughs> One one feeling, one feeling on Good top. guess, good guess. So yeah. iki is um, actually referring to the method that they, um, the way in which they kaki noboru, which is to rush up the stairs. Uh, iki basically means they did it in like one jump, basically, in one breath, in one sprint type of idea, in one spirit is literally what it's saying, which doesn't mean anything in English. But the idea is that the whoever this is, they rush up the stairs and they just went, whoa, they did it in like a really fast, just boom type of feeling right here versus maybe like running up the stairs, but maybe you paused, saw something and continued running. In general, kake no boru already insinuates ikini. So since we're kind of specifying ikini, it just feels even faster than if it wasn't there. Um, just because no boru, I mean, the kake part of no boru already means fast. And this just means in one instance, basically. So if you had super long legs, you're probably taking two steps at a time versus one step at a time. Kind of gives that kind of vibe. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Ikure no kimi no ma doseki kara hina hinabi ga iki ni fuki dashita. So this is pronounced as Hana flower. Does this have rendaku in this context? Yes. Hihana, hibana. Hibana. Um, the fireworks that came out from the magical stone of the twilight, of the Lord of Twilight, in one go. Perfect. It, it spit it out. It, it exactly. Came, so yeah. the idea is that there's only one firework that came out rather than a incessant every boop, 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 type of idea. So it all went out at once. Um, can you read this for me? Ma, um, to, to roll something is maki, ma. Bro? Oh, it does look like koku. You're right. We've never seen that in here, but um, it does look similar. To wrap, to Hi. wrap up, wrap the thing up. So it's uh, ma. Like, it's it? to, to. Tsutsumikonde. The body wrapped up the body. Hi, exactly. The thing that wrapped up the body was the coldness of the magical stone. Tsutsumikonda. Tsutsumikonde. Hi. Let's go read this example sentence. Um, Zujo ni kaka geta seki no hibana wa. Hikari no katen de tsutsumi konda. So Seki is the married reading of this. What's it single reading? It's not married right now. Ishi no Hai, ishi. Ka hibana. So the fireworks of the stone that was lifted on top of the head, it, it's wraps it wrapped up um using a curtain of light perfect that's exactly what it says what it's wrapping up not mentioned <laughs> do you know what um kirameku means kirameku is like a glitter hi same as kagayaku perfect do you know what a hoshi is a hoshi is a star Perfect. Can you read this example sentence? Hoshi no ha hikari? Hikari? Hai. Hoshi no hikari ga sore o karameku. Kirameku. Hai. So the, the light of the stars, it's glitter up the sky. Exactly. Perfect. 
And since you mentioned that Hoshi can mean star or planet, here's a trivia question. Is a sun, our sun, a Hoshi? No, and it had a separate word. It's, um... Correct, that's Taiyo. How about our earth? Is earth our Hoshi? No, it also had a separate word. Hi. And how about our moon? Is our moon a Hoshi? No, it's a separate word as well. Everything else in space is Hoshi. <laughs> The only things that are not is our Pacific Earth, our Pacific planet, our Pacific moon, and our Pacific sun. Everything else is Hoshi. So all other moons, all other planets, all other suns. It's Hi, just a funny little thing. man-made satellite, I believe. Yeah. I, satellite has its own word, which I think is a say. This word. Oh. Um, that that's satellite. But maybe Hoshi could also refer to satellite, but specifically it's like celestial bodies, which not including the earth, the moon, and the sun, the one with the the in front of it. Um, so it's just a funny so little thing. Taiyo so it's gets to Taiyo. No, right. the moon is like su Sukumi or something. You're right, Tsuki. Tsuki. And then the earth is just basically, uh, what was it? Tikyu, <laughs> I think. TQ, uh, never, yes. For some reason, I had the word Gaia in my, in my mind. Gaia. So, You're so thinking wrong. about Greek. <laughs> but yeah, it's really funny when like you'll be watching like an anime or something because they can't say Earth. So a lot of times they'll say Hoshi like on this planet, but that's only allowed if they're in a fantasy world. So if they're ever and if you're watching a show and they're not in a fantasy world, they're going to say Q. But if they are in a fantasy world, they're going to say Hoshi. So like in Pokemon, for example, they're going to say on this planet using Hoshi because it's not our Earth. It's a different Earth. So it's kind of oh. just funny. Um, how that works, that it just kind of, it's only specific for our, well, only our reality earth. Is our reality. If you're, if you are somebody else in a different world, you're not allowed to say to you. I think that's really funny. I don't know why. Uh, so going back to our store, our, our main program, let's go read the line from the book. Nebari ga ore no zujo ni. Uh, on top of my head, Neburi kakageru to. He he places the thing. He held it up on top of my head. Hi, can touch uh, the magic stone. The magic stone, mado seki. Uh, ishi kara from out of the stone. Ha hanabi ga the fireworks. Uh, iki in one brush. Iki ni. Fuki dashi, it rushes out. It spill out. Uh, ore tachi o, we uh, kikira meku hikari no katan de uh, tsuzumi konda. The, the light, the curtain of light wraps around us. Hi, in a sparkly kind uh, of way. Sparkling, the sparkling curtain of light. Perfect. Wraps itself around us. Nice. Ba -ba -ba. Let's go read this bolded phrase. Uh, road, road, top. Dan ro, dan ro, hi. Dan ro ni hi ga. Uh, aka aka to. It's like red, red, meaning like it's 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 flickering, in a way. Probably like just red, blur. red, like a vividly dark red. Yeah. Uh, or a bright uh, burning eyes red. It's it's uh it's burning. It's burning Hi. I forgot this word. Yagi? Yaki? Moeru. Moeru. Hi. Yaki you tend to guess yaku, which is to burn something, right? Like yakitori. But moeru is to be burning, not well yaku is to burn something. So it's like yaku. a transitive and transitive pair in a Mo way. Moeru, moeru. Hi, can you read this bolded phrase for me? Mm, ta -ta -ta -kiri ni. Hi. What is takigi? Hi. Ta takigi is um fire word. Also fireworks? Also hinabi? Uh hinami? Hi hibana. Hibana? That's a spark. It's a spark, but firework is hakigi. Oh, oh, this is 
<laughs> this is this is like a log. A log, <laughs> a log that a log. you stick into into the fire. Fire fire <laughs> wood. I was like, what is the word? <laughs> got it, got it. Hakigi ni. Kindling. Um heo tsuke yo to shiteru. Yo to shiteru? Hi, oto suru means to attempt to do something, so it's tsukeru. Suke is to latch on. Yes, so to attach. Fire, Hi. The fire attempted to light up the log. Exactly. With his right here with the O particle, it's letting us know somebody is doing this. It says Bennett um, attempts to attach fire to the log. So heo tsukeru means to light something up, to catch something on fire purposefully. Okay. Right? Okay. So Morning, he tried why, to light why, the fire. Why does this ru verb end up with a yo? Because it's, it's a volational form. So volational form is either adding an o to something or a yo to something, whether or not it's a u verb or a ru verb. So taberu turns into tabe yo. Tabe yo, let's eat. But yomu is a u verb, so it becomes yomo. Ah, good review. Mm -hmm. Totally so, forgot. Hi, hi. We tend to see more u verbs than ru verbs in books, I feel. So it's more common to see o to suru than yo to suru. So very, very easy. Just That just means this was a ru. Um, can you read this bolded word? Um, moeru. Perfect. To what does it mean? Learned. Yeah, to be learning, blaze in. Let's go read this example sentence. Um, this is Kami as in the paper. Kami ni tsukereta. He wa tsukereta. Tsukare tsukereta. He wa moeru. Um, the fire that that attached to the paper, right? The the, the fire that caught the paper. Hi, it's I'm fire. Burning. Perfect. Do you know what atsui means? Atsui is something that is hot. Perfect. How do you read this kanji? Oh no, this is the atmospheric uh, hot, as in the room feels hot, not the object feeling hot. Atsui. Hi. Um, like, um, yeah, no but uh, but it's, it's the other way. If you're around. talking about like atatakai, atatakai. If you say, I am atatakai when you're when you're warm, so atui is hot, but it's hot like to have a fever. So both of them can be hot to the touch. Um, so uh, it's a little bit confusing as far as that goes. Um, but atui tends to be more like ah. That, that's right, money. <laughs> yeah. Do you recall the the weather is being hot, like the the hot of the of the atmosphere being hot? Pretty sure that'd be like atatakai. Also atatakai. Um, I don't know atatakai or whatever that. I remember like so... the cup, the cup of tea when it's hot, it's atsui, right? Like You're yeah, right, but that's a that's tea. this kanji. Um, no. Wait, that's uh, thick. I think that's just oh, that one. Hot. Is that hot? I think so. I don't really see hot tea very often, but I'm pretty sure that's the hot tea. Oh, I see. I think. I could totally be wrong. But that's like Atsui, like hot summer. <laughs> it's a hot day. That's a hot day. I see. Um, okay, okay, okay. Probably it's had the same sound, but different right, reading, different writing. Yeah. So, atadakai and atsui with this kanji are the same, right? Atadakai just means warm, atsui means hot. So, these hot. these modify the same ideas. This atsui with the other kanji is the temperature. The temperature. One. So, this is items are hot, such as me and stuff. Hi. What is the te form of atsui? 
Hi, there is a ku. Then you can add a te. Atsukute. Hi. Um, do you know how to read this bolded word? Jomen. Hi, Hyomen surface. Let's go read the example sentence. Table no Hyomen wa atsukunatta. The surface of the table became hot. Perfect. What's this bold word right up here? Hayaku. Quicker. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Hayaku ti. Hi. Any idea what it means? Uh, spoke too quick. That's exactly what it means. Quickly, it can also quickly. mean just fast talking in, in general. So it doesn't have to be like too quick. Um, do you know what the stem form of shimao is? The stem form? Hi, the noun form. Shimao. The noun would be shimai. Hi, shimai. Perfect. So here's our last line of the day. Nebari no koe ga don don. This is one by one. Hi. O kiku. So the voice become louder one step at a time. Hi. Jumon ga don don. Hayakuchi ni naru. The spell one step at a time become faster. Karada no yomen ga atsui. My body, the surface of my body uh, is hot. Uh, hiyo tsukerareta kami no yo ni. Like the paper getting caught on flame. Hi. Chiri chiri to, like glittering. Chiri chiri, like the, the kind of like the glimmering. I um, chika chika. Um, you can just ignore chiri chiri. <laughs> chiri chiri. Okay. Mohete shimai so. Uh, it got burned up. Hi. And what does soul like mean? It. Uh, it feels like it. Yes, we're talking about the vibes. It feels like I'm going to be burned up, right? Like and I'm little... burning up as 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 a paper getting light up. Exactly. So just picture a a piece of paper being light up. That's going to be the chidi chidi here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are not separate ideas. It's just the chidi chidi. They wanted the sound effect, and then they wanted to specify what the sound effect was meaning, which was "hio tsukerareta kami no yoni." Money, chika 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 is sparkling, right? Sparkling. Yes, chika chika is sparkling. Hi. And it's Wait, used well, like when you need to blink your eyes a whole bunch because there's lights in your eyes, and you're like, ah. What was the word earlier when the hoshi, when the star was was Kira? glittering Kira across the sky? Sora ni something. Um, Hi. Kira meku. Kira meku. It glitters kira, across. Kira kira also means glittering, which is a sound effect that probably comes from kira meku. Kira meku. We also kira, saw kira. kagayaku, which none of us could remember how to read. Kagaya. Which surprisingly does not have an adverb. There's no kaga kaga. But yeah, kira kira is from kira meku. Kira meku. It's a glitter. Chika chika is like to like the paper being burned. Hi, hi, hi. Exactly.